Hello there, my name is Hans Mensa Ando and I bring you sports on pause. We are heavy on AFCON 2019 qualifiers, of course. It is no show for Ghana versus Sierra Leone, of course. Sierra Leone versus um, Ghana as far as the second leg is concerned. Um, um, the Black Stars is confirmed we'll be playing against Kumasi Asante Koroko tomorrow at 4 p.m. But while that will be going, Sierra Leone will be hoping to solve their issues with the government. The, the FA will be hoping to solve their issues with the government and also with FIFA and um, to ensure that the suspension hanging around their neck is lifted. We'll be going over to the phone lines and speak to the spokesperson of the Sierra Leone Football Association, Ibrahim Kamara, pretty shortly. And um, we understand that um, the FA um, was locked in a meeting with government in, in a bit to try to find a middle ground to the current situation. And um, we have um, Ibrahim Kamara on the line. Hello, Ibrahim. Yes, hello. Right, thank you very much for your time here. And um, we understand that there's been a meeting between the FA and the government. What was the focus of the meeting and what has been the outcome? Well, well, basically the, the, the focus is, is, is around the, um, um, you know, the recent, uh, well, first of all, the ongoing suspension that we're serving. Uh, basically, of course, we were suspended by FIFA and we're still serving that suspension and also the fact that you know uh, the back-to-back -back matches were supposed to have played against Ghana, you know those matches were cancelled, uh, you know recently as a result of the suspension. So since then, there has, has not been a, an official statement from the government. So in the press conference actually today was basically meant to communicate to the general public the position of the government, you know, with regards to the, the present situation. So obviously. Um, you know, a, a number of issues were discussed in the press conference today, but key among them, you know, is basically, like I said, what is, uh, you know, the current position of the government. And that happens to be the fact that, you know, even though we, we, we you know, we failed to, you know, participate, in other words, we failed to honor the fixtures, uh, you know, between Sierra Leone and Ghana as a result of the suspension, the gov government has said they still maintain the fact that the two people that is uh, the President, Madam Asha Yewansing, and the Secretary General, Christopher Kamara, are still set aside. They are still suspended. And that is to say the government, you know, is still not ready, you know, to do what FIFA has asked them to do, which, which is basically to reinstate the two people. That, of course, um, as it stands right to say that Sierra Leone is going to remain banned because FIFA's demand is simple. Reinstate the President and the General Secretary. Um, is, is that a position now, giving government position? Well, yes, yes, basically, because obviously, like you said, FIFA, FIFA's position is clear. And we all know, you know, how much FIFA, you know, doesn't play around with their, with their decisions. They don't play around with their, uh, with their laws and all of that. You know, in all of the letters that, that is sent down to the country uh, with regards to this very issue, they've all, always been emphasizing uh, that, you know, we have to reinstate Madam Asha Yuanting as the president and Christopher Kamara as the general secretary before our suspension can be lifted. And as we speak, the government still stands, uh, you know, they still stand their ground, basically. In other words, uh, they are not ready to reassist the two people at all. So obviously, yes, I agree with you. That definitely means uh, we are going to remain banned. Uh, if you like, we are going to remain suspended. Uh, because uh, obviously, um, um, the suspension, you know, according to FIFA, is going to last until further notice. Now, in all of this, what has been the reaction of the general public in Sierra Leone? Okay, it's, it's actually a bit of um, 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 a positive reaction to this, and you, you, you also have a, um, you know, a number of people that are you know, reacting to it negatively. Well, negative in the sense they show that actually um, you know, through their comments and their posts on social media, and, and obviously on the, when, when, when there are you know, radio programs on this basically they express their opinion you know some people think the government should reinstate these people and then you know to get the, the suspension lifted there and then we can form a delegation and go to, to Zurich and meet FIFA and sort out our issues with them uh, just like it was done in, in, in Ghana and Nigeria uh, 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 also did the same thing uh, quite recently and you have some other people you know who are also saying we support the government and we think our laws, uh, those people should not come down here and tell us what to do. You know, so it's just um, a bit of a, 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 a big, big feeling, basically. You have some people that are in support and you have some other people that are against. But, uh, you know, like I said, 
uh, both sides really do show their, their opinions, do express their opinions, and, uh, you know, based on their comments on social media, and of course, you know, during phoning programs as well. We've not seen any group of people coming outside uh, doing any form of, uh, uh, what you call it, um, um, protest or things like that. You know, so it's, it's just moving on like that, unfortunately. Now, while these consultations go on between the FA and government, what has been the extent of, you know, consultations or conversations between the FA and the CAF or FIFA, if you like, in, in a bid uh, to, first in a, in a yeah, bid especially to have the Ghana game with yeah, Shadow? First of all, yeah, I didn't get that quite right. But first of yeah. all, what I think it's important that you understand really clearly is that the present uh, uh, um, FA, that is, that is uh, the acting president and the acting general secretary, are not recognized by CAF and FIFA. You know, even when they write letters to CAF, you know, they are not replied to. If they write letters to FIFA, they are not replied to. Because FIFA and CAF, uh, they keep emphasizing on the fact that they don't recognize them, or as long as they are concerned, they only recognize Madam Asha Yuansing as the president of the FA and Mr. Christopher Kamara as the general secretary. So um, the guys that are in charge now in terms of the, the, the FA, they are basically recognized by the government uh, um, and that's it. So if I'm, if I'm to understand you clearly, there's been no consultation whatsoever between the FA and CAF or FIFA to have the game against Ghana with Seto. Yes, well, well when, we, when we say FA here, we, we have the, the FIFA and CAF recognized FA, which, which according to FIFA and CAF, it must be led by Madam Asha, the one thing, and the general secretary must be Christopher Kamara. You understand? On the other hand, the government has got their own FA that they recognize, and they say it has to be uh, the vice president, who is currently the acting president, and then the, the, the deputy secretary general, who is currently the acting secretary general. So basically, yes, um, with regards uh, uh, speaking in the meeting, we, we had we had a, a meeting recently, you know, that was held at, at State House, you know, just to look at this issue. But then that again didn't end, um, 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 you know, in a way that FIFA, you know, wanted. In other words, uh, it didn't actually fulfill, you know, the, or, or, or the requirements of, of, of FIFA, basically, which is to reinstate Madam Asha Yuansing and Christopher Kamara. They rather um, um, asked the president, Madam Asha Yuansing, to write a letter to FIFA appealing to them to to uh, to lift the ban. And then when she wrote the letter, and, and in fact, in that letter, she wrote it and she signed it as the president of the FA. You know, this was done right at the State House. And when she sent the letter to FIFA, FIFA replied her, you know, with a question asking her, are you telling us that you've been reinstated? Are you talking to us from your seat as the president of the FA? Have you been given access to, to the offices? Have you been given access to the account? And are all the communication channels in, mm. in, in your charge now? Mm. And she said, no, we're just trying to put things together. And FIFA said, no, right. there's no way we can do anything until and unless, you know, the president and the general secretary okay. are reinstated. Okay, all right. Um, thank you very much, um, Ibrahim Kamara. He's the spokesperson for the Sierra Leone Football Association speaking to us from Freetown there on um, the current situation that has got the Sierra Leone Football Association suspended by FIFA. That's your sport on Pulse. My name is Hans Mensah Ando.